In this video, I'm going to show you recording audio in Reaper 7. In the previous video, we left off by punching in and punching out manually by hitting the record button or hitting the keyboard shortcut each time. But we could also use auto punching by switching the recording modes in Reaper, which is very helpful if we don't have a hands free to punch in and punch out. So we can go up here to the options menu to change the recording mode. It defaults to normal, but we could switch it to time selection auto punch. Choose this. Now we can create a time selection in the area we want to punch in and punch out. We can go above the audio or go up here to the ruler and draw in a time selection. So now Reaper's going to punch in automatically over here and punch out automatically over here without having to hit the record button. We can hit the record button in the beginning. Check it out. So Reaper automatically punched in over here and punched out over here. We didn't have to do it manually, which is helpful if our hands aren't free for recording the guitar ourselves. But the one problem with this is we can only punch in once and punch out once. We can't do it on multiple sections. But there's another mode for that. Let's undo this again. We could switch it under options to record mode auto punch selected items. And if we choose this mode instead, we could punch in based on the items we select. So let's split this into multiple items. We'll put our cursor right here, type S, and that splits this item. We'll make another split over here, and that splits it there as well. We'll put another one over here and here. Then we'll deselect this item, control on the PC, command on the Mac, and select this item. So now we can punch in just these two sections while keeping this, this, and this, as it's based on the items we selected. So now we can go into record, and it's going to punch in right here, punch out over here, punch in again over here, and punch out again over here. And it'll do it with every item we select. <laughs> And just like that, we punched in and out twice, once over here and once over here. And again, we could adjust those punches, but we could also change the modes by right clicking the record button. And we could see them right here. And also, we could see the record button looks like this in the normal mode. Change it to this one, the record button looks like this. We'll change it again. Now the record button looks like this. So we can always tell which mode we're in based on looking at the record button. Let's put it back to normal. Now in Reaper 7, we can now record into lanes. If we don't want to use takes or punching in without giving us any other options. So let's undo this again. So we can go up here to the options menu, to new recording that overlaps existing media items and choose to add lanes. So now, if we record on top of this, it's going to create a separate lane for that recording. So we can go back and choose which lane we prefer. Let's give it a shot. So now, we have a second lane for that performance. Here's the first one. Here's the second one. Let's record a third. Now we have three lanes, lane one, two, and three. And we could hear each one back by hitting the solo button. Here's lane one. Here's lane two. And here's lane three. So we could choose which lane we prefer. Let's say we like lane three and just delete the other lanes. Right click, go to delete lanes and delete all other lanes. 
Now we can turn lanes off by right clicking over here, disable lanes. Now we're back to a normal track with just a piece we prefer. But we could also keep those lanes if we want. Let's say we want to choose this lane, but still keep these in case you want to use them later. We just go right here and disable lanes. Now we don't see those other lanes. So it's gonna behave like a normal track, but if we wanna go back at some point, just right click, enable lanes, and we still have the other lanes, which we could switch to by sewing them like this. But we could also comp into lanes by choosing the best lane for each phrase. We could right click, go to comping, and choose comp into new empty lane which creates a new lane up top, and we can see we're comping into it with this gold brown around it. If we double click, this is a normal lane that we solo one at a time. If we double click it again, we're back to comping into this lane, which means notice the cursor changes, we could draw a comping area, and now we're hearing this area in the comp lane. Play from here. <laughs> And we're just hearing this section now comped into this lane. If we want to try out some other options for this phrase, we could draw down here. Now we're hearing lane two, but just for this phrase. Before that, we're still hearing this phrase. And we can switch it again just by clicking to change which lane we hear. Or with our mouse in this area, just hit the T key to hear lane one two, or three. And we can do that section by section until we're happy with each phrase we chose. And let's say we like these choices. Again, we're seeing them up here and hearing them instead of these lanes. We could delete all the pieces we don't need by right-clicking, delete lanes, and delete lanes that are not playing. And we're just left with this. We could turn off comping again, disable lanes, and we're back to a normal track. Or if we wanted to save all these pieces, in case we want to recomp them later, just go up here and disable lanes, which is going to hide the non playing lanes, which looks like this. But we can still go back and recomp again or re record more lanes again. Now we have a fifth lane. We can recomp from here, choosing options from this one. Choose this one or this one. Let's say we like this. Again, instead of turning off comping and deleting the other lanes, we just right click and disable lanes, which will hide the non-playing lanes. Just leaving us with this comp lane. But still giving us the ability to go back to enable those lanes, see them all again, and choose them all again. Phrase by phrase, we're just choosing another lane right here. And we're done. Disable lanes, and it looks like a normal track again. And again, we can still tweak the crossfades, drag it back, and move them on each choice we chose. So that's pretty much it. That's recording audio in Reaper 7. Hope you learned something, hope you could use it, and I'll see you next time. Thanks. Bingo boys, let's go.